But his campaign. But Abdul Aziz. Yes, but his campaign. The campaign fell good because Allah protected because Allah protected the Kaaba. So that's yeah. As you see in the picture here, uh, Abraha, the ruler, the Ethiopian ruler, who wanted to invade and destroy. Destroy means to damage. Damage al Kaaba means he wants to make al Kaaba disappear. So Abraha, when he came to Mecca, uh, he came with lots of uh, elephants, and of course his his attempt or his his uh, behavior was failed. Why his behavior failed or his campaign failed? Why? Because Allah protected the Kaaba and Allah sent some birds with some small, very, very tiny and small stones. And each stone would uh, fall on one of the, the elephants or one of the people in his campaign and to destroy and burn them all. So the stones that Allah sent with, with some birds, they were very, very small stones, small stones, and they burned the whole campaign, they burned the whole uh, elephants, they burned the whole people with Abraha. And this attempt was failed because Allah protected uh, Allah protected the Kaaba from Abraha. This what happened. So uh, when I ask, for example, uh, Rakan Turkey and Sultan Turkey. So uh, do you hear me? Yeah. Amazing. Can you tell me? Can you tell me the the person, the name of the person who wanted to, to destroy the Kaaba before Islam or before Prophet Muhammad came? We don't know. Peace be upon him. No, the name of the person. The name. Yeah, you and yes, the name of the person, the ruler who wanted to destroy Kaaba. Uh, uh, but he came and failed because Allah. Yes, he came and failed because Allah protected it. So, uh, uh, okay, that's good. Let's ask. Let's ask Walid. Walid, do you have any idea about the name? Topin. The name? Walid? Yes. Do you know the name of the ruler who wanted to destroy El Kaaba completely? Topian. Now, his name is Abraha. Say it, Abraha. His name is Abraha. So the Ethiopian, guys, repeat after me. The Ethiopian Abraha. Guys, repeat after me. Please. The Ethiopian. The Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Abraha, Abraha wanted to destroy wanted to destroy the Kaaba, Kaaba before, before Islam. Islam. Okay, good, good boy for Abdul Aziz Adnan. Thank you so much. And Rakan Turkey and Walid Turkey. And Sultan Turkey, sorry. Uh, repeat also as well after me. So. The Ethiopian Abraha. The Ethiopian Abraha. Wanted. Wanted. 
to destroy to destroy el kaba el kaba before before islam islam but his attempt his campaign but his but his attempt his campaign, campaign failed failed because allah because allah protected the kaaba protected the kaaba good good so let's come to the vocabulary of today's session today guys we have like some vocabulary on on the okay just a second guys do you hear me yes okay that's good so let's come to the vocabulary that we're gonna discuss today so we have just bring a, bring a, a notebook and uh, a book and be ready for the vocabulary okay okay i'll let you see the picture right now just a second So last time we took some vocabulary which were uh these words and we took these words. we're gonna continue with our vocabulary for today so today our we have three questions more so the first question that we need to cover today is when was number one, okay so number one today number one when when was Prophet Muhammad Muhammad born? When was Prophet Muhammad born? Prophet Muhammad was born. Can you tell me the answer? Who can tell me the answer? When was Prophet Muhammad born? Amazing. No, the in so look here so prophet muhammad was born who knows prophet 570 yeah 570 ad that's good thank you walid so prophet muhammad let's write it here was born and on 12 Rabia al Awal Al Awal Five hundred seventy AD, which was before so that's good. So this is the first question. Let's move to the second question, which is uh yes here what what is the name of the year that prophet muhammad was born in? so what do you think the name of the year we call it the year of, the year of, of the amazing amazing boy what was the name of the year that Prophet Muhammad was 
born in. So the name of the year, Amazing Walid, we call it the year of the elephant. So the year of the elephant. Amazing. So last question that we're going to take, then we're going to finish with. So which is, uh, did the attempt, did the campaign succeeded? Did the campaign, did the campaign, or has, let's ask it that way, has Abraha, Abraha's campaign, has Abraha's campaign succeeded? Yes or no, guys? Has, Abraha, uh, has Abraha's campaign succeeded in uh, destroying in destroying Kaaba? No, no. Of course, no. It has failed. Amazing. So actually, it is no. It didn't succeed. So Abraha, he didn't he didn't he didn't succeed he failed abraha he failed or he didn't succeed both are are fine because of what because allah allah protected protected el kaaba how did allah protect the kaaba allah sent some birds with a very tiny small uh, pieces of rocks and every rock would fall on one of Abraha's campaign and uh, he would burn to death. This is actually what happened with uh, Abraha's people and Abraha's campaign and it failed completely. So uh, this is the three, question, the three questions that we have today. Number one, when was Prophet Muhammad born? Prophet Muhammad was born on 12 of Rabi'a al-Awwal. This is, guys, your homework is to write these questions down in your notebook. So this is the answer. Number two, the answer of the question number two, which was, what was the name of the year that Prophet Muhammad was born in? The name of that year, actually, we call it the year of the elephant. The year of the elephant, because Abraha's attempt or campaign to destroy al Kaaba. The third question that we have, has Abraha's campaign succeeded in destroying al Kaaba? Of course not. He failed uh, in destroying al Kaaba and he, he died in that, in that year uh, because Allah protected al Kaaba in that year. And always well. So these are the questions that we have guys here today. Your homework is to read. Your homework is to write the three. So your homework is to write down the three, the three questions, the three new questions of today in your notebook and to check SPS as well for small quiz uh, you need to do as well. So do you have any question guys? No. Abdul Aziz Adnan, do you have any question? Yes. What's your question, Abdul Aziz? I mean no. What? I mean no. Okay, thank you. So, guys, uh, I forgot to tell uh, most of you, happy Ramadan Kareem, inshallah, and um, have a good day. Uh, bye. bye guys, thanks a lot for your participation. Do not bye. forget to do your work and bye bye. See you bye. later. Bye. Have a good day. Bye bye. Bye.